That brow's pretty much close to perfect all the way around. The hull really is too. Through hull's all nice and shiny. No real pitting on anything. Scratch on the house, don't know what happened, but you can see it there right through the A. Not a big deal. Bottom was freshly painted this year. The boat hasn't spent a night in the water since it was fully waxed, compounded, bottom painted, zinc done, etc. You can obviously see the trailer. I put it on. It's just a yard trailer I have that's too big for the boat. reason it's so high sitting on the trailer. There's the transducer outboard of the bunks. If I were trailering this full time I would move that transducer. Up on the boat, got six gunnel rod holders, combing bolsters new, what's a little a little dirty just because it hasn't been soaked in two weeks. But everything's pretty nice. Tackle drawers. Nice and clean inside. That's how the boat was delivered to me. It's just a well kept boat. Got two Taco 15s, the center rigger mount. The enclosure's nice and clear. Has rear drop curtains. So there's the drop cushions, nice and clean. A few life jackets just left over. Headliner, it's like perfect. Cushions. Cabin's nice and clean. It's got the remote mic for the VHF for whatever reason in the cabin. Panels. Bridge. Opens on hydraulics. The installations of everything are nice and neat. We got power in the engine room, fuel valves, fuel filters.
Really, the boat's nice and clean. Access to the jack shaft. So the fish box has been removed. Here's your jack shaft, two brand new Group 31 batteries installed. Back of your outdrive. Exhaust. Through holes. Pumps. Really a nice clean boat. Got the engine compartment from further back. Nice access to the engine all the way around it. Leave all that the way it is and walk forward. Three rod holders down the side here. Got the top. Got this doodad up there. Looks like maybe an E-perb on the other side. No cracking anywhere, everything's nice and clean.